right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Montana. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Diesel. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Herb Dean is your referee. Right. He's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. And even for a Boston fan, I have a lot of appreciation for the building. Right I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Kickboxing 101. Right. Early connection with the left from the champ. Checks that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Beautiful jab there by the champ. So one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to them. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Nice body shot. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. 
It won't take many of those. Lands a big elbow there. Great block there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice counter. You can't place it or time it any better. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. He's, he's limping now. He checked that last one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Two minutes to go here in round one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to do this like sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with that. No. Nasty cut there right on the bridge of the nose. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, and he counted him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Oh, he got him. Oh, big elbow. 20 seconds to go in round one. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your... Oh! Oh, oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. He came hard that last round. That was his best shots. You took them no problem. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, on. round two. Oh, big move to the body. That'll soften him up. Just misses with a left hook there. Third bad. done there. Throwing that jab, no good. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Now that one blocked. 
Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Here. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Oh, my goodness! And that'll do it! Oh, my goodness! With a massive highlight at the Garden! Holy smokes! All right, let's go inside the octagon now. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.